You don't mind if we hydrate for a moment, do you? Does anybody have any more water? I just went through three bottles. <clears throat> so we're going to return to uh, the Odapa style of the accordion with traditional tooth and throat singing. This one, uh, and, uh, Body and myself, we've been working on for the last few years. Um, actually, you know, two interesting points of information regarding the future of this transmission of tooth and throat singing in folk music and history and culture. So Body Du Jour and, our, and I myself were working on a duet album hopefully ready to be released in 2019. Um, this is a specific project focused on Body and myself as the leads, recording right here in Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland. We started earlier this year, so give us a round of applause for that endeavor, please. Which also will feature Ian Hesford as a special guest um, on at least one composition, so this relationship this trio of relationships, this is continuing on beyond the stage so that throat singing becomes, by way of apprenticeship, a Maryland tradition ongoing. Also, next year, believe it or not, is Alash's 20th anniversary in 2019, celebrating 20 years as an ensemble. Please give Alash a well, warm, well-deserved round of applause.
So we have time for one more song. Please don't clap for an encore because they will kick us off the stage. <laughs> but this last song pays tribute to the nomadic tradition of the Tuban experience. This is entitled Good Horses and the, the Tuban culture, you know, it's interesting, it's similar to cowboy culture or American cowboy culture of the 20th century, 19th century, um, the, the, the cowboy had a very unique and, and, and immersed relationship with their horse. And in Tuva, that tradition still lives on in a very unique and strong way because there's only one part of Tuva that's actually industrialized, which is the capital, Kazil. The rest of the area, the geographic and natural environment of those areas is still rooted in the nomadic way and the rural way. So this song pays tribute to that living tradition today in Tuba. This is Good Horses. Ian Hesserud on the Kubin. You wanna actually, this pays, um, it's, it has a really interesting adjacent relationship to another Jawhar tradition of Tuba, the Homus. Yeah. You want to talk a little about about the kubing? Uh, this is uh, there's a version of this kind of instrument all over the world. We're in America. We know of this um, in drug bands and country music. Uh, the the jaw harp. Um, this uh, and tuba also has the the humus, which is an, a jaw harp, a version of that. And this is uh, called a kubing, and it's from the Philippines, and it's actually made out of bamboo. So Ian on the Kubin, myself on percussion, Bada does you on lead vocals, and his traveling guitar. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Ian Hansford.